Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network this afternoon from Sunset Field. It's a Patriot League clash as the visiting Resurrection Christian Cougars take on the Brush Bee Diggers. We're four pitches in. I'm John Beltran. Already one out recorded. And one ball and one strike to the number two hitter. We'll recap what's happened here against Keaton Jillick. Brayden Mackleman took a ball, then he lined it softly to the shortstop, Percy Odell. Christian Seamer with a foul ball and then a line drive into right field after ball one, a base hit going the other way. And two hitters in. Resurrection Christian, a 12 and two team that just fell to Eaton four to one, gets a base hit. The bead diggers are gonna be the underdogs the next four games, including today. They are seven and five after having lost to Wellington by a seven to four score. The pitch, swing and a miss to Deegan Corrigan. Yeah, Res didn't graduate much. This is a solid baseball team. The bead diggers are good, but they're not in that caliber offensively. I think they have enough pitching to stay in this game, but offensively, different story. That's below the knees. One ball and one strike. That was a crushing loss for Brush two days ago on Monday. Throw back to first, back in diving. I have some sort of interference. I'm not sure where that's coming from. The pitch, swung on and fouled off to the right. One ball and two strikes to Deegan Corrigan, number three hitter. Had a lefty to begin, and then a couple of righties, including this hitter. Open stance, runner at first, one out, top of the first. Game number 14 for, or 15 for Resurrection Christian, number 13 for Brush. The pitch, breaking ball is grounded slowly right side. Mesh is gonna charge, he'll field a toss to first for the out. Great pitch, outstanding defense there. That's the way you gotta do it to stay with this Resurrection Christian team. Two down, Seymour advances to second. The left-handed hitting Vaughn Green is the pitcher, he's batting fourth. The fifth hitter is the catcher, Bennett Ruby. Colton Barber, the second baseman at sixth. Brody Unruh, the third baseman, bats seventh. Weston Johnson at short hits eighth. And Caden Bailey, the left fielder, bats ninth. Line base hit into left center field. Seamers around third, being set to the plate. The throw is going to go up the first base side. And it's 1-0 Resurrection Christian. Vaughn Green with the RBI single for the Cougars. And here comes Bennett Ruby. Rez hitting 363 as a team going in. Vaughn Green 441 on his own. And that's the team leading 18th or second on the team with 18 RBIs. Deegan Corrigan has 20. So Vaughn Green now by himself in second. Bennett Ruby, right-handed hitter. Batting 395. Another open stance. Stretch by Jillick. The pitch. Swung on and driven deep in the left field, but there should be a play. And right there to make the catch is Ben Metlin. Got it off the fist. That's an excellent pitch thrown by Keaton Jillick. And not too much damage there in the first inning. That's what the bee diggers have to do. Just pitch well and field well, and you never know. Baseball is a funny sport. One run on two hits, no errors, and one left to the bottom of the first we go. Resurrection Christian has got a run on the board. Here come the Bee Diggers to the plate on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Bee Diggers starting lineup brought to you by Buildings by Design. They will make your vision a reality. They do incredible work at Buildings by Design. Visit them at buildingsbydesign.com. Batting first for the Bee Diggers is the center fielder Hunter Proctor. Landon Mesh, the second baseman at second. Keaton Jillick is the pitcher hitting third. The cleanup hitter is the first baseman Sawyer Albert. Batting fifth is shortstop Percy Odell. Left fielder Ben Metlin hits sixth. Third baseman Edgar Ortiz is the seventh hitter. In the eighth position, the right fielder Caleb Jimenez and catcher Wiley Eicher hits ninth. Defensively, Deegan Corrigan's at first. Colton Barber at second. For Resurrection Christian, Brody Unruh's at short. 
Weston Johnson is actually the shortstop. Brody Unruh at third. Caden Bailey in left. Braden Mackelman in center. And Christian Seamer in right. Behind the plate is Bennett Ruby. And left-hander Vaughn Green is on the mound. 2-0 and in a 1-5-9 ERA. He's got a blazing fastball. Just displayed it there. Swing and a miss to the senior center fielder, Hunter Proctor. And the offering. That's right there. Inner half. That's a BB. No balls and two strikes. Hunter hitting 182. The B Diggers hitting 313 as a team. 50 points lower than the Cougars. The pitch. That's right there. I'm not sure what he was looking for. He took two pitches right down the middle. Hunter was, I think, guess hitting. Guess hitting means when you're looking for a pitch, and I think he was waiting for a breaking ball, and it never came. Here's Landon Mesh, the team's leading hitter at 442, and he swings and misses. That was a pitcher's pitch on the inside corner. No balls in one strike. one nothing Resurrection Christian. Uh, the offering, that's outside. They score the run on a two-out RBI single by the pitcher, Vaughn Green. And he works quickly as Ruby lays down the sign. Res in their black shirts and white pants. Swung on and chopped slowly first base side. Green is going to have to barehand a turn, spin, throw to first, and out. Landon meshes out by a fraction, two down. Yeah, if he tried to feel that with his glove, there's no way that Green gets the speedy mesh. Here comes Keaton Jillick. Sophomore having a great season, 353. And the offering, foul to the backstop. No balls in one strike. Yeah, the schedule for Brush coming up is ridiculously hard. University on Friday on the road, they're five and one and 11 and two. Check swing, did he go? And he did. Thank goodness they've already played Berthoud. And they played Wellington, who's five and two in league play, six and eight overall. They lost to them seven four. And there's a called strike three. That's a perfect fastball in the outer half. And two strikeouts in the first inning for Vaughn Green. We head to the second after a very quick first inning. Resurrection Christian one, brush nothing. This is 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I'm John Beltran. Let's move to the second inning. On a gorgeous day, normally I give you the game time temperature. We started two minutes early at 358. 79 degrees in brush. There is a decent wind. I should say a breeze. A nice warm breeze. Another left-handed hitter, third of the lineup, Colton Barber. Down and in, one ball and no strikes. The Cougars with a 1-0 lead. On a first inning RBI single from Vaughn Green. Barber hitting 382, a freshman. The pitch swung on and lifted into left center field. Metlin to his left, Proctor to his right. That ball's going to drop in between them. And around first into second is Barber. That was simply a fly ball that found the gap. Well, I thought one of those two outfielders would chase it down because that hung for a while, but nobody got to it. So a leadoff double, and those are plays. They're scored as hits, but you have to steal an out. You got to steal outs. Didn't happen on that one. Here's Brody Unruh. It's a good pitch there by Jillick, too. Really good pitch. In fact, he looks like he's got his good stuff today. The stretch by Jillick and the offering. Swung on and chopped over the middle. The shortstop, Odell's got it. Sets, throws to first, one out. Nearly got Albert off the bag, but he's a tall, rangy first baseman. Kept the back foot on the bag, one down. Advancing to third is Colton Barber. That's the other thing. You cannot make poor throws in this game. You can't extend the inning via the out, or via the air, I should say. Weston Johnson, right-handed hitter, batting 273, a junior. The Bay Diggers play the infield in. Jillick to the plate. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. 
Some late life to that one. Got a little bit of piece of it into the glove of Wiley Eicher. No balls and one strike. Albert Mesh, Odell, Ortiz from first to third. The offering, that's a strike. Fastball on the outer half at the knees. Matlin and left, Proctor in center. Jimenez in right, Eicher, of course, behind the plate. Jillick, no balls and two strikes. The pitch upstairs, good spot. Keaton Jillick, no one loss record in a 3.9 ERA. Well, that's not correct. They don't have the one loss records correct in here. But the ERA is, is correct. One and two, the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. Outstanding location for Keaton Jillick. Two down as he fans Weston Johnson. Here's Caden Bailey. Another right-handed hitter of senior hitting 323. Remember, they scored their first run with two outs and a man in scoring position. Swinging a foul into the glove of Iker. Another breaking ball. No balls and one strike. The B diggers can beat this team if it's a three to two type of game. They're not going to outscore them. They're not going to outscore them seven to six or something like that. That's not the type of team Brush has this year. Swung on. There's a two out base hit right up the middle into center field. Bailey comes through. Barber scores from third. Two nothing. Resurrection Christian. That one got a little bit too much of the plate. Here's Brady McAlman. He lined to the shortstop Odell one inning ago. Jellick stretches. B diggers in their maroon striped uniforms. And that one hit him. Came in on the left-handed hitter. Got him on the right leg. And watch out because here is Christian Seamer who drilled a base hit into right field his first time up. Again, 2 nothing, 3 nothing, maybe even 4 nothing. But if it gets beyond 4, then you're, you don't play catch-up when it's only 2 nothing. You're playing catch-up when it's probably about 5 to nothing. That's why you got to get this guy out with 2 on, 2 out, and 1 across. Off I-76 and exit 66A in Wiggins. Stubbs Gas and Oil. Gas, food, and all your travel accessories. The pitch. Swag and a miss. Through that blazer right by Christian Seamer. No balls in one strike. That's the type of location Keaton Jillick is going to require for himself in this game. He's going to need that. Back to second, no throw. Just wanted to keep the runner close. Start your. Associate degree, continue your education, get a specialized certificate, Morgan Community College. Breaking ball down and away, visit them on the web, morgancc.edu. Already fall registration is underway at Morgan Community College. At second is Bailey, McAlman at first. The stretch by Keaton Jillick. And the offering runner to third, swung on, fouled off to the right. Back goes Bailey, he got a good jump there. One ball, two strikes. Here to Christian Seamer. Proctor is playing pretty shallow. I oh, wanted to call time, not granted. The offering fouled off to the right. I'll tell you what, yeah, umpires don't love granting time. You want to move the game along. Unless something flies into your eye or something like that. Again, the runners take their leads. And he wanted to call time again. The pitch. Breaking ball down and away. Two and two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Just wait an extra second to get back into the box. You don't have to call for time. I know the wind is gusting. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. 2 nothing Rez. He wanted to call time. What is he doing? The pitch. Swung on and grounded a second. Mesh fields. Fires to first. 
And retired is Christian Seamer. That was an odd plate appearance. One run on two hits. No errors and two left. One and one half innings have been played from Sunset Baseball Field. On a gorgeous Wednesday, Resurrection Christian 2, Brush nothing. This is 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Sawyer Albert homered against Wellington on Monday. He leads off the bottom of the second, 2 nothing. Resurrection Christian, the pitch. Fastball inside corner for a strike from Vaughn Green. Again, a 1.59 ERA going into this start. And the offering. Swing and a miss. Man, he threw it right by him. Albert hitting 378, but overmatched so far. The wind and the pitch. Swung on. That ball's grounded to second. Here is Barber charging. Slings it to first for the out. That's a nice adjustment by Sawyer Albert. Made contact on that 0-2. Is retired for the first out. And that will send up Percy Odell, the offering. Foul to the backstop. No balls in one strike. Green had two strikeouts in the first inning. Working quickly as the left-hander. He turns and fires. Breaking ball is a beauty. Oh, my hungus. Wow. That bender right at the knees. He's thrown 14 pitches, 13 for strikes. The offering fouled back. I think Vaughn Green, let's see. Yeah, he's a junior. He had a big hit against Brush when they eliminated Brush two years ago and the B-Diggers had that stat team breaking balls outside. Brush had beaten up Resurrection Christian 20 to seven and eight to nothing during the regular season, lost two to one here in the regional final and was denied a shot at the state tournament pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball up and in three strikeouts. Odo goes down, two down. And that'll send up Ben Metlin. That's how valuable pitching can be. The B-Diggers had the better team in 2022, but one pitcher, Luke Ruby, neutralized an entire brush lineup. The offering, fastball is high. Only the third ball thrown by Green. A couple of raindrops. There's just a couple of rain clouds overhead. One ball and no strikes. And the pitch, that's inside. 2-0. To Ben Metlin. Two down and the base is empty. B Diggers looking for their first base runner. The pitch. Swung on, grounded is short. There is Johnson backhanding, and he hesitates, throws to first, and it's late. He kind of double clutched. Well, we'll score it for now, an infield hit. He double clutched because the ball did get stuck at his glove. So an infield hit, although Metlin would have been thrown out, but he really didn't bobble it or anything. Edgar Ortiz will now hit. And again, I'm not the official scorer, so that could be scored in air. Throw back to first. And Metlin's basically on top of the bag against this left-hander. That's the way to do it. Edgar hitting 231. At the belt, the pitch, swing and a miss. If he chases that again, he's going to strike out. You got, you cannot hit a pitch that high. He knows that. No balls in one strike. Awaiting the offering. He did it again. Yeah, that's not going to work. 0-2. To Edgar Ortiz. Got to lay off the high stuff, but watch out for the breaking ball. The offering, that's a fastball inside corner, and he goes down on three pitches. Two strikeouts in the inning. The B-Diggers do get maybe a contested infield hit. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left at first. 2 nothing. 
Resurrection Christian after two on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Top three from Brush. Resurrection Christian leads Brush two to nothing. Deegan Corrigan grounded a second his first time up. Single runs in the first and second. Swing and a miss. Keaton jillick has got some movement on his pitches. That's why there's lots of swings and misses in this one. Laying down the sign is Iker. And the offering. And that one is upstairs. And the count levels at one and one. Three, four, and five for Resurrection Christian in the visiting half of the third. Jillick to the plate. Breaking ball remains upstairs. Two and one. And Brush playing every other day this week in Greeley on Friday against University. Kevin Fergus will be with you. Fouled off to the right. On a fastball at the knees, it's two and two. To Deegan Corrigan. Jillick's control's been really good in this game. And the offering. Fouled on the breaking ball. It's a big start for a sophomore. And Jillick, even though he trails 2-0, pitching well, he's got a great lineup to face. Jillick to the plate. Fouled again off to the right. One with a high fastball. <clears throat> Remains at 2-2. Two and two. To Deegan Corrigan, right-handed hitter. This guy's tall. Big strike zone. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Letter high fastball. A strikeout of Deegan Corrigan by Keaton Jillick. Strikeout number two, one down in the third. Vaughn Green had the RBI single in the first. Iker lays down the sign and the pitch. Outside corner, strike one. Both of these pitchers spotting their pitches very nicely. I think really the difference is, is that Resurrection Christian, a little bit better lineup, swung on and fouled off to the left. They're more experienced. Well, now the rain's starting to come down a little bit more. Have to... We might have a little buzz here just to got to protect the equipment. No balls and one strike. And the pitch. That's just outside. Wow. And check it. That was that was an 0-2. Now it's 1-2. Man, that, that was a great, looked like a changeup. And the offering fouled on a pitch up in the zone. Remains at one ball and two strikes. Here to Vaughn Green, one out, bases empty, top three. Resurrection Christian leads Brush two to nothing. Jillick to the plate, down and away. I could say these raindrops are annoying. It's not much, but it's like these big, big drops. And we're not covered up here. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and grounded up the middle. A two-hopper into center field. Base hit. Hung the breaking ball. Second hit for Green. Fifth hit for Resurrection Christian. Bennett Ruby hit a fly ball to left field that got in on the hands. He's got that type of swing. You got to keep pitching inside to this guy because even though he's not tall, he's got power. Two step lead at first for the courtesy runner over there for Resurrection Christian. Go back to first. Now we'll get a name, hopefully, momentarily. Couldn't see the number when he went out there, the stretch. And the offering. Swung on and grounded left side and backhanded by Odell. No throw. It'll be a base hit. Throw back to second safe. That's a good job by Percy Odell. Not throwing through to first. Had no play. 
And the bead diggers really defensively are playing smart baseball. There's not much you can do when the ball's hit in certain areas. Colton Barber laced a double. We have a second courtesy runner at first. I guess you're allowed two and that's it. So Green and Ruby, that's pitcher and catcher with base hits. And there are courtesy runners for them. Jillick with one out in the third. Chest level with a glove. The pitch. Outside corner with a changeup. No balls in one strike. Jellick has thrown 41 pitches. 30 of those have been strikes. Odell sneaking in behind the runner at second. The pitch down and away. Again, all speed pitch, one and one. To left handed hitting Colton Barber. Looks like the rain has subsided. Runners take their leads. And Keaton Jillick to the plate. Down and in. Got a little bit of dirt. Two and one. Now he's got to come in with one, but don't have to come in with a fastball. You can come in with some off speed and maybe get this hitter out in front. Long pause, 2-1. That's low. It went below the knees. Tried to get him to chase. He did strike out the first hitter of the inning. But back-to-back -back base hits. 3-1 and one to Barber. Runners off their bags. The pitch. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Iker. Elevated that one. It's 3-2. and two. Yeah, I'm not sure that was a pitch Barber should have swung at. That was either going to be a borderline strike or ball four. Runners won't be going even though there's, well, because there's only one out. They could still take off. Could create a hit and run. Let's see if it happens. Nope. Swing and a miss on a changeup away. What a pitch there on the outside corner by Keaton Jillick. Strikeout number three. Barber goes down, two down. And that's a great adjustment by this sophomore right-hander. This guy doubled his first time up. Here's Brody Unruh, grounded to short in his first plate appearance. Two down in the third. The offering. That's a fastball for a strike on the outer half. Belt high. It is 0-1. Now the wind gusting just a little bit more. The courtesy runners take their leads. Jillick to the plate, down and away. I mean, every spot he has missed has still been a very good pitch. Very good pitch. Because as a hitter, you've got to think about it. One ball, one strike, two on, two down, two nothing. Resurrection Christian, top of the third. Keaton steps off. Now, you don't want those runners to intimidate you just because they have big leads. Because they mean nothing if you retire the hitter. It'll be a 1-1. Here it is. That's right there on the outer half. Just below belt level with a fastball. It's 1-2. and two. And keep in mind, you get this hitter. Then you begin the fourth with your 8-9-1 and one batters. That's why it's huge to get this guy. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Fouled. Oh, that pitch was tailing away. Remains at one and two. To right-handed hitting Brody Unruh. Keaton Jillick again. One-two pitch. Fouled on the breaking ball. Took a late swing. And stayed alive. Yeah, you want Jillick as well as he's pitching. If he can go deep into the game. But he's halfway to 110. Almost halfway to 110. He's at 51 pitches. Long pause. Don't even worry about the runner. 1-2. Swung on and grounded weakly up the middle. Odell behind the back. Cannot get it. Base hit into center field. Rounding third and staying right there. The bases are loaded. Was the first courtesy runner. Nice job of Proctor getting the ball back in. And Brody Unruh's extended the inning for Resurrection Christian. 
seventh hit for the Cougars. And Weston Johnson, who struck out swinging his first time, will now bat. And that ball was not hit very hard at all, but it was placed perfectly. The offering swung on, lined, and that's going to be caught by the second baseman, Landon Mesh. He was right there waiting for the baseball with some topspin. And an easy play for Landon Mesh. And what a job by Keaton Jillick. No runs, three hits, no errors, and the bases were left loaded to the bottom of the third in one minute. Resurrection Christian 2, the Bee Diggers nothing on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Vaughn Green has yet to allow, well, actually one base runner in Ben Metlin, so let me correct that. 2 nothing. Resurrection Christian bottom three. The pitch, fastball, a strike to Caleb Jimenez, 8-9-1. And the beat digger third, Caleb hitting 200. And the offering inside with a fastball. The count levels at one and one. No runs, one hit for Brush, two runs, seven hits for Rez. They've left six on base. The beat diggers have stranded the only runner of the pitch. Foul to the backstop. Wiley Eicher will hit next. One ball and two strikes. And the offering. Curveball is lined and caught by the third baseman, Unruh. Stretching out to his left. That's one of the better at-bats we've had from Caleb here recently. He destroyed that baseball. Notice he's wearing glasses. And that could sharpen up his vision. And he hit that baseball very well, but robbed of a base hit by Brody Unruh, who lunged to his left. Here's Wiley Eicher. The pitch fouled with a fastball. 241 hitter. Where Wiley wants to pick up his game is hitting with two strikes. Eight strikeouts this year. The pitch down and away. Good take. On the off speed, it's one and one. A two-out RBI single in the first, a two-out RBI single in the second. Those are the runs for the Cougars, and the fastball's up and in. That's two consecutive balls thrown by Vaughn Green. Very rare, considering that's seven balls and 23 strikes so far. Two balls and one strike. The pitch, swing and a miss. On a fastball in the inner half, it's two and two. Vaughn Green had two strikeouts in each of the first two innings. And he's got another one here. The pitch tailing away. That would have been ball three. Iker goes down swinging. That's what he really struggles with. I've noticed with Wiley. He's much better hitting earlier in the count. Once it gets deep into the count with two strikes, it's an issue. Hunter Proctor struck out on three pitches. The offering. Breaking ball is up and away. A ball and no strikes. The senior center fielder awaits the pitch, rides inside. 2 0. That's the second straight hitter. He's thrown two consecutive balls to. Let's see if Hunter's swinging away because you got nothing to lose now. 2 0 pitch. And he swings very late, though, on a fastball. He's got to decide much earlier than that. Two and one. With two outs and nobody on. Bottom three. The offering. Swing and a miss. That was a nasty, nasty off-speed pitch. It's two and two. Not much you can do. As a hitter, you're almost taken hostage by that pitcher. Two and two to Hunter Proctor. Green turns and fires. Breaking ball in the dirt, swung on and missed. You got to pick it up and throw to first. And that's what the catcher, Bennett Ruby, does for Resurrection Christian to record the strikeout. The B Diggers are retired in order in the third. 2 0. Resurrection Christian on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The B Diggers trail 2 0 in the fourth inning to Resurrection Christian. 
9-1-2 for the visiting team. Caden Bailey singled his first time up. In fact, he drove in a run, and he squares to Bunt, lays it up the third base side. That's going to be a base hit. Jillick picks it up, no throw. Oh, man, that was perfect. He didn't roll it down the third base side. He popped it up, but then it died and was not spinning at all. Resurrection Christian now with eight hits in the game. And you know they're capable of a breakout inning. A line drive by McAlman in the first, and it was hit by a pitch. The offering runner going, swinging a foul to the backstop. Almost surprised he swung at that, unless that's a hit and run. No balls and one strike. Brush is really playing a solid game. They're just facing a, a heck of a pitcher in Vaughn Green. Have not made mistakes defensively. Jillick is pitching well. That's why it's still just a 2-0 game in the fourth. And that was a great bunt by Caden Bailey, the stretch. Long pause and the pitch. Breaking ball is fisted towards second, caught by Mesh, and he will tag the runner going by. Bailey thought that it was going to drop in front of Mesh. He caught it. He didn't have to throw back the first. He just tagged him. He was standing right next to him. A double play, two down. And again, a great pitch by Keaton Jillick on that soft line drive. Here is Seamer, fouled to the backstop. Single and a ground out for Seamer. Christian Seamer, third at bat. He comes in the fourth inning. Eicher lays down the sign. And the pitch up and in. And Landon Mesh has been very busy at second base, and he's done everything perfect in this game. And the 1-1, one, one, down and away. Ball two, strike one. Anybody's game so far, but the B-Diggers have got to figure out a way to manufacture at least a couple of runs. 2-1, fouled off to the right. Nobody likes a moral victory, but if the B-Diggers play a competitive game through seven innings and don't win, that should pick up their confidence. They're playing better today than they did against Wellington. And the 2-2. Breaking ball is outside. Ball three, strike two. That's the first full count I believe either pitcher has gone to. And that did not happen until the top of the fourth inning. 3-2 pitch. Fouled. Oh, man, through that fastball. Letter high. Got a piece of it. Remains at three and two with two down and the bases empty in the visiting half of the fourth inning. Resurrection Christian leads two to nothing. And Jillick to the plate. Swung on and chopped into left field for a base hit. What a chopper that was. That's a Baltimore chop on steroids. I mean, Edgar Ortiz had no shot at that one. Nine base hits for Resurrection Christian, the second for a Christian Seamer. Deegan Corrigan grounded to Mesh in the first and struck out swinging. 0 for 2. Big lead over there for Seamer. Probably wants to get into scoring position right now. The offering. That's grounded foul, third base side. No balls and one strike. To Deegan Corrigan. Back in. Yeah, that uh, batter's box a little bit chewed up. The pitch upstairs. One ball and one strike. Here to Deegan Corrigan. Nine locations across Northeast Colorado and Nebraska. Means there's always a Rudy's Tires close by. Visit rudystires.com for more. Throw back to first. Back in diving is Seamer. And covering all electric work from residential to commercial to agricultural. 
Better Electric, 970-521-1030. Fouled off to the right. Jillick is really hitting his spots. You have to against this lineup. One ball and two strikes. Seymour off of first. And the pitch. Swung on and lined up the middle for a base hit into left center on the hanging breaking ball. Proctor drops it, recovers, gets it back in. Throw to third. There's no backup there, but a nice block. Yeah, I think Jillick anticipated the ball would go to Odell, which doesn't require a backup. And that is now 10 hits in the game for Resurrection Christian. Vaughn Green is single twice. Keaton Jillick looking for the sign. Giving up lots of hits, but only two runs. He doesn't want to throw a breaking ball to this guy. And that swung on and chopped the first. Nice leap there by Albert. He spins, turns, and steps on the bag for the out. That is an excellent defensive play by senior first baseman Sawyer Albert on that big chop. And Keaton Jillick gets out of the jam. A double play certainly did help the beat diggers. No runs on three hits. No errors and two left. Three and a half complete. Resurrection Christian two. Brush nothing. This is 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I'm John Beltran. Let's head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Resurrection Christian is out hitting Brush 10 to 1, but they're only outscoring them 2 to nothing. It'll be Landon Mesh, Keaton Jillick, and Sawyer Albert. And even that hit the B Diggers got is still contested. It might not have even been a hit because the shortstop, Weston Johnson, had the ball stuck in his glove. Now one bounces to the catcher. Landon Mesh grounded out his first time up. It was a swinging bunt and a barehanded play by Green. He got him by just a fraction of a step. The offering, swing and a miss, took something off it. Mesh way out in front of the changeup. <laughs> one ball and one strike. Resurrection Christian has stranded eight runners to pitch. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. It was in the dirt. That's two pitches in a row that Landon, who normally reads the ball pretty well, has been fooled by. One and two. The offering, and he got fooled by that one. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. Way, way out in front. Strike three. Vaughn Green has now picked up seven strikeouts. Keaton Jillick struck out looking in his first plate appearance. The left-hander to the plate. Swing and a miss very late on that tailing fastball. It's 0-1. Right now he's got the B-diggers guessing. And when you're guessing, it makes hitting twice as hard. It's hard enough already. The pitch, swing and a miss, blew the fastball by him 0-2. Since 2003, Western Engineering Consultants has been providing big firm product with small firm relationships. Visit westerneci.com for more. The pitch blew him away. Fastball, fastball, fastball. Eight strikeouts as Jilly goes down, two down. Sawyer Albert, who grounded to the right side, will now hit the pitch. Breaking balls down and away. One ball and no strikes. And the offering. That's right there down the middle, just above the knees. It's one and one. Brush is going to have to start early. They're going to have to crank early. Not wait until that ball's on top of them. The offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch tailing away. <clears throat> yeah, they're just looking desperate now. It's I know this guy's really good. Really good. But you cannot give him strikes. And the one-two. Swing and a miss. Wow, what a nasty breaking ball. And Albert thought it was going to be a fastball. 
striking out the side in order is Vaughn Green. Nine strikeouts in the game. 2 nothing. Resurrection Christian over Brush. As we head to the fifth on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 2 nothing. Resurrection Christian in the fifth inning. Keaton Jillick has done a tremendous job on the mound. Pitch. Down and away with a bender. Bennett Ruby, the five hitter. Hit a fly ball to left and singled. Left side, that's popped foul. They got to play Albert giving chase as the ball hits look like on top of the batting cage and behind the dugout occupied by Resurrection Christian. One ball and one strike. Ruby, Barber, and Unruh in the visiting half of the fifth inning. This has been one good baseball game, solid game. Wish the B-Diggers could generate more offense, but they know what they're up against. Swing and a foul on the changeup. It's one and two. Now again, if Brush doesn't score, but they lose a close game, then... It's a confidence builder, and they've got to learn. They've got to learn how to adjust to pitching like this. They're going to see it on Friday, weather permitting, against Eaton as well. The offering swung on, fouled off to the right. Remains at one and two to Bennett Ruby. You go righty, lefty, righty in the top of the fifth. The offering. Swung on and driven foul left side on a pitch below the knees. It remains at one and two. To Bennett Ruby. Jillick ready. And the pitch. And did he take that one? It's off the glove of Iker. He did. Looked like an all-speed pitch. It's two and two. Single runs by Resurrection Christian in the first and second innings. That's the scoring. The B-Diggers have been held in check. The pitch. Oh, wow. Where did that miss? Must have been a tad low. Man. Wow. This is not a tall hitter. Three and two. Well, that should have been a strikeout. The offering swung on and lifted to left center field. To his left is Metlin. He flags it down for the out. Thank goodness that would not have been pretty had he gotten on base when it looked like the strike was thrown in the 2-2. Barber, Colton Barber, doubled and struck out. So he's one for two. Jillick has thrown 76 pitches in the game. I would love to go the distance. The pitch swung on line, a leap, and a catch by Percy Odell. A line drive off the end of the bat, and the shortstop Odell made the play. He timed it very well. Two outs. And that sends up Brody Unruh. Grounded a short and single to center. I don't know if Jillick's had a 1-2-3 inning. That's low. Let's check the scorecard here. I'm not sure he's retired the side in order in the game. He has not. He's had traffic in every inning. And the 1-0. Swung on that ball's grounded a short. Odell's got it. He sets. Fires to first. That's a perfect throw by Percy Odell. And this time, Keaton Jillick has a 1-2-3 inning. Four and one half innings have been played. Resurrection Christian hanging on to a two to nothing lead over Brush on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, the beat diggers have to be relieved that Vaughn Green is no longer on the mound. It'll be Graham Riggs instead. A right-hander. Two nothing. Resurrection Christian, but Vaughn Green will remain in the lineup. He'll be a DH. The numbers on the right-hander, 1-0 and 0 
in two appearances with a zero ERA, and he's thrown six innings. He's allowed three runs, but all unearned, which is why his ERA is at zero. This is 10-10 KSIR, Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona, top of the hour of the pitch. That's a strike to Percy Odo, who struck out swinging his first time up. Vaughn Green in four innings, struck out nine. Eligible for the win. Got to go at least four innings in a seven-inning game. The pitch, breaking ball is up and in. The bee diggers are in this game because of outstanding pitching by Keaton Jillick and outstanding defense as well. The 1-1, swung on and grounded sharply to second to a knee, getting up, throwing to first on the hop is Barber, and he retires. Percy Odo, one down, and the ball hit very sharply. Ben Metlin had that contested infield single. I say contested because, again, Weston Johnson made the play but couldn't get the ball out of his glove. Can't score that in error, really. And the offering. That's a fastball for a strike on the outer half just above the knees. No balls in one strike. With one out and the base is empty. And the offering. That's low. One and one to Ben Metlin. Well, that sun is really out now. And the pitch. Curveball is popped up. It'll stay in play. The first baseman, Corrigan, is going to give way to the second baseman, Barber, who makes the grab. Two down. Two down for Edgar Ortiz. Ortiz struck out on three pitches his first time up. And the offering. Breaking balls in the dirt. That's a good start. The bee diggers in the game have been retired in order in three of the first four innings. The pitch, swing and a miss. I don't know why he's chasing. That's not going to help him. He one ball and one strike. It's not a good pitch for him to hit. When Edgar gets a hold of one, he can drive it a long way, but he's got to hit his pitch. And that's right there. That's the one he wanted. And he took it at one and two. The right-hander rigs to the plate. Swung on and grounded slowly third base side, but trickles foul. One ball, two strikes, two down. Base is empty, two nothing. Resurrection Christian, the third baseman, Edgar Ortiz, awaits the pitch and he swings and misses at a tailing fastball. And it's another one, two, three inning for Resurrection Christian pitching. Graham Riggs does it this time. 10 strikeouts for Cougar pitching. Five innings are in the books. Still anybody's game. Resurrection Christian 2. The Bee Diggers nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. That's a strike on a pitch down the middle. Looked like he took something off of a Weston Johnson. Top of the sixth inning. 2 nothing Cougars. Strike. Uh, check that. That's actually a pinch hitter. Outside. Check that. That's Braden Budd. Left-handed hitter. One ball and one strike. Eight, nine, and one for Resurrection Christian to pitch. Swung on and popped up. In the infield, the second baseman, Mesh, is going to make the grab. He took charge out there just to that one side, the second base side of the second base bag. Here's Caden Bailey. Got to watch out of your Edgar at third. He had a bunt single. Preceded by an outfield single. And Keaton Jillick has actually gotten stronger throughout the course of the game. He is really pitching well to pitch. That's a strike. 
No balls and one strike. He retired the side in order one inning ago. And the offering. Change up is a little bit low. Looked like a change. One and one. There to the hitter, Caden Bailey. And the offering. Fastball is upstairs. Ball two, strike one. Yeah, the visiting scorecard indicates that he's retired five in a row, but he might not make it six. That's down and away. No walks by either side in this game. Three balls and one strike to Caden Bailey. This is the nine hitter, but he's not a typical nine hitter. And that one hit him. Second hit batsman. Got him in the upper back. That'll bring up Brayden McAlbin. Left-handed hitter. I mean, it's two to nothing, but it feels like it's four or five nothing because the bead diggers have been really struggling just to make contact. They've committed 15 outs at the plate in five innings, and 10 of those have been strikeouts. So pitching and defense has to keep them in the game. The pitch runner going, swung on and fouled to the backstop. And McCalman's hit the ball well, but he's 0 for 2, lined to the shortstop. Hit by a pitch, hit that liner. That was caught by Mesh, and then he tagged out Bailey, who's on first now for the double play. Jillick at 88 pitches. 110 is the limit with three days rest. No balls and one strike. Throw back to first and nearly wide of the target, but Albert comes down with it. Either way. Regardless of what happens there after the bead diggers have played a very good game. The pitch, squaring to bunt, lays it down foul, third base side. Too bad that wasn't fair because it was bunted so hard. I think Edgar makes that play. 0-2 to Brayden McAlman. Bailey at first. The stretch. The offering. Swing and a miss on a fastball away. What a spot there by Keaton Jillick. And he strikes out McCalman. Two down. Four strikeouts for the sophomore. But Christian Seamer's been a headache. Hit the ball every time. Two base hits. The offering. Fouled off to the right. No balls and one strike. Keep in mind that Resurrection Christian hitting 363 as a team going in. They're still hitting the ball well. They've got 10 base hits in the game. They just haven't produced much. Runner going. That's low. A strike. Throw to second. And late. That was called a strike. Bailey sliding in head first. 0-2. So they've got a runner in scoring position. Keep in mind their first two runs scored with two outs. They wanted to call time again. It's not going to be granted. Now it will be granted. That's because Keaton took a little bit too much time there. And that's fine. Not a problem. Chillick's been on this game. No balls and two strikes. Keaton with a pitch, swung on and chopped the second. Mesh backs up, fires to first after fielding it perfectly and retires Christian Seamer, who is now two for four. The bee diggers are still hanging tough. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left to the bottom of the sixth at Sunset Baseball Field. Resurrection Christian two, brush nothing, on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Resurrection Christian leads Brush 2 to nothing, And it will be 
Caleb Jimenez. Caleb had an excellent at bat. In fact, he's had the best at bat for Brush so far. He hit a laser, a line drive that was caught by the third baseman, Brody Unruh. The pitch, and that one bounces away on the breaking ball from Graham Riggs, who retired the beat diggers in order. Brush in the game has had one base runner, Ben Metlin. And that one bounces to the screen. Two balls and no strikes. Hmm. The wind kicks up, the sun disappears. Is this a sign of maybe a little comeback for the B diggers? And all of a sudden, two pitches that were not close. And the 2 0. And that's a strike, though, at the knees. Bottom of the zone, two and one. Eight, nine, and one for Brush in the bottom of the sixth inning, trailing two to nothing. The offering swung on and chopped right back to the pitcher, charges, sets, throws, and he manages out, one out. And here's Iker who struck out swinging. And just like that, Riggs, who did not look good with those first two pitches, comes right back. The wind calms down, the sun comes back. So that was just a something temporary. Let's see, Ben Metlin reached, I think, in the second or third inning. It's been a while. The pitch. Check swing. I believe he did not go. Oh, jeez. Didn't look like he went through, but the appeal, and it's called a strike. I don't know about that. No balls in one strike. Nah, that looked like he held up. The offering squaring to bunt, and he takes that for a strike. I don't know why he pulled the bat back. Now down at 0-2. Mm. A rough spot now for Wiley. The pitch and the benders in the dirt. Good read there. The last 11 beat diggers have been retired. One and two. Down and away, two balls and two strikes. To Wiley Iker, one out, bases empty, bottom of the sixth inning. The Cougars lead the beat diggers two to nothing. The pitch, swung on and drilled into the right center field gap for a base hit. And then the ball gets away. McAlman overran it. Iker's around second. Iker with speed to burn, going to third. He's gonna be in there. It'll be a one-out single and a two-base error as it was misplayed in center by McAlman. That is awesome. Two-strike hitting there by Wiley Iker. And the first error of the game off the base hit. Well, maybe something is brewing for the beat diggers in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's one of Wiley's better hits all season. The infield is playing back since Raz leads two to nothing. Proctor has struck out twice though. The pitch, that's outside. Remember that Hunter's got home run power. And this is one of the shorter fields in all of Colorado high school baseball. Only 300 down the line, the pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball and one strike. Either Proctor or Mesh has got to deliver. Second hit of the game for the B Diggers. Riggs to the plate, going to bunt, and he lays it down third base side. Iker's going to hold up at third. The throw to first is going to be in time. Iker breaks for the plate. He's going to slide in. Safe! He got around the tag. He got around the tag. Proctor is out. But a great job of Iker sliding around the tag, and it's 2-1. to one. Oh, man. Iker had to hold up, by the way. If not, they would have thrown home as... Unruh made the play. I love that baseball. Very inventive baseball by Brush to try to get that run across. Which they did. No RBI. Because Iker broke for the plate upon the throw to first. Landon Mesh is grounded out and struck out. Breaking ball is upstairs. The beat diggers to within one in the bottom of the sixth inning. And that's a fantastic slide because Ruby tried to tag him and Iker wasn't going to have any of it. 
Swang and a miss. I think Landon's got to shorten up his swing here. He did not have a good plate appearance a second time, but he's a great hitter. And the 1-1 one -one fouled off to the left. One ball and two strikes. You never know in baseball, the B-Diggers got production from the nine hitter. Mesha waits. The one ball, two strike pitch. Swung on and grounded sharply to second. Nice play to his left by Barber. He throws to first and retires Landon Mesh, who is 0 for 3, but a well hit ball by Landon Mesh in the sixth inning. One run. There was a base hit, an error, and nobody left. Six innings complete. Resurrection Christian 2, Brush 1 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's move to the seventh inning. The Bead Diggers trail Resurrection Christian 2-1. to one. Keaton Jillick has been outstanding but has the tough part of the lineup now. Deegan Corrigan, Vaughn Green, and Bennett Ruby. And all these guys can hit the ball. Corrigan is one for three, a ground out, a strikeout, and a single. The pitch, that is just below the knees on pitch number 94, so Jillick might not be able to go the distance. Might need a second arm to get through this inning. One ball and no strikes. And the offering. That's on the outside corner with a strike. Knee high, it's one and one. Yeah, if you allow a base runner, there's no way Keaton can get through here with 110 pitches. I just don't see it. The offering swung on and drilled into right center field. To his left is Proctor. He's not going to get it, and it rolls towards the fence. This will be a two-bagger to lead off the seventh for Deegan Corrigan, his second hit of the game, and the 11th for Resurrection Christian. And you knew that they would try to get that run back as quickly as possible. And this is the part of the lineup that can do it. Vaughn Green with two base hits, including an RBI single. Also grounded out. We'll have a courtesy runner somewhere for the Cougars. And there we go, whoever that is. I can only guess at this point, just... Looking for the number. Looks like it might be Jackson Lucas. Green is a great contact hitter. Batting 459 going into the game and two for three today. And he takes a change up below the knees. One ball and no strikes. Tom Modell is going to have to go to the bullpen at some point. Unless you get the next three hitters, which is not going to be easy. The stretch by Jillick. The pitch, fouled off to the left, one and one. Well, Sawyer Albert's very good at getting one out quickly if you need it. I'm guessing he would be the option. Now you put Albert on the mound, Jillick at third and Ortiz at first. That's what I'm guessing if he has to go to the bullpen. One ball, one strike. Runner at second, two to one, Resurrection Christian. With nobody out in the seventh, time is called. Thank goodness you don't judge games on hits. 11 to two, Resurrection Christian in the hit column. The pitch, curve ball is low. Two balls, one strike. The B diggers have left one base runner on. They've only had two in the game. Resurrection Christian has left nine on base. Two and one to Vaughn Green. And that's taken for a strike. Outside corner with a fastball on pitch number 100. Two and two. On deck is Bennett Ruby. Now that Cougar dugout getting hyped up. 
Step off by Jillick. Two balls, two strikes. Iker lays down the sign. The pitch swung on, lined into left center field beyond the lunging Percy Odell. That's a hit. Around first as Green, he's into second. Scoring is Jackson Lucas. Third hit for Vaughn Green, second RBI. Three to one, Resurrection Christian. That could do it for Keaton Jillick. He's pitched a heck of a game. Man, if that was hit a little bit more to the right, Odo, I think, is going to make the catch in a double play, but didn't happen. Placed perfectly by Vaughn Green, and we will have a new pitcher. Let's see if it will be Sawyer Albert. We'll take a break. A man at second. Nobody out. Top of the seventh inning. Ojilic's going to go to left. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Ben Metlin to third and Albert the pitcher and Ortiz the first. 3-1 Cougars over the Bee Diggers on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. So Sawyer Albert is now the pitcher. Edgar Ortiz from third to first. Ben Metlin from left to third. Keaton Jillick goes to left field. If that run scores from second, that'll be on Jillick's line, but doesn't matter. He pitched a great game. Bennett Ruby has popped out twice. In fact, two left, so Jillick's got to be ready. And he's also singled. The offering fouled in on the fist. No balls in one strike. Can you keep this game at 3-1? to one? That's the question. No worse than 4-1, to one, and maybe you run into a couple of hits, and who knows what happens then after. Another courtesy runner at second. Oh no, that should be that's no, that should be green. He doesn't need a courtesy runner anymore. He's a DH. Squaring to bunt. Albert looks back twice. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's getting distracted. Don't get distracted. You just threw a strike. That advantage goes to the runner when you keep doing that. You're not going to hold him any closer. No balls and one strike. Albert with a long pause. The pitch. Fastball is up and in. Yeah, I don't know why Green would go anyway, considering he's got some good hitters behind him. One ball and one strike. The pitch. And that bounces away. Iker didn't see it. Now he spots it. And that's exactly why you don't want to focus too much on, on the runner. Then you lose concentration on the hitter. First wild pitch of the game by either side. It's Bee Diggers have to play the infield in now. Two balls and one strike. Trailing three to one with nobody out in the seventh. Awaiting is Ruby. The pitch swung on and chopped to third. Metlin's got it. Throws to first low, but dug out by Ortiz. Holding up at third is the courtesy runner. Good play and a nice dig by Edgar. One down. And Metlin didn't check the runner, but he released it so quickly. <laughs> there was nothing the base runner could do. So that's the way to do it if you're Ben Metlin. Colton Barber has had some good swings, a double, a line drive, and also struck out, and he's a left-handed hitter, making it that much tougher. Albert with one out in the seventh to the plate. That's outside. Wow, barely missed. One ball and no strikes to Colton Barber. The Bee Diggers have not committed a single error in the game. That's how well they play today. The offering, down and in. But again, they're facing a team in Resurrection Christian that is 12 and 2, 4 and 1 in league play. Their only losses, 13 to 4 to Lutheran, and 4 to 1 a week ago 
in Eaton. They haven't played in a week. Two balls and no strikes. Got to come in with one. Here it is. Swung on and lifted into left center field. Going back is Proctor. Still going back. Still going back. And it's over his glove. And it's going to be a double for Colton Barber. He's around second, headed for third. This will be a triple, scoring a run. And it's 4-1 to one as the tag is applied, but it's late. Carter McAlman, who was the runner who scored from third. He was the courtesy runner. And that base hit for Resurrection Christian is their 13th, the first triple of the game. Got to keep playing the infield in with Brody Unruh. A ground out, a single, and another ground out. One for three. Set the ball to the left side two of the three times. Towards Percy Odell, the pitch. Breaking ball, a strike. That was nasty on the inside corner. You can only hold down an offense for so long. And Rez has finally broken out with a couple of runs in the seventh. The stretch. Long pause in the pitch. Chopped foul. Third base side, 0-2. The Bay Diggers will have to rally from at least three down, if not more. No balls and two strikes. Barber at third. They've had a big inning swinging the bats Have the Cougars. Albert to the plate. Swing and a miss. What a nasty curveball. As Brody Unruh goes down swinging. That was a great pitch by Sawyer Albert. Two down. Fifth strikeout for B-Digger pitching. Here's Weston Johnson. Struck out and lined out. Now they play the infield back. And the offering. That's a fastball down and in. One ball and no strikes. We played just over an hour and a half. At third is Barber. Out of the stretch is Albert. And the offering. And down and away. And now runner breaks for the plate. The toss to tag and late. That's a pass ball on Iker. He's played very well behind the plate, but that was just a pitch that went off his glove. Barber scores. It's 5-1. to one. And Johnson ahead of the count. Yep. Barber took advantage of that ball barely getting away just a few feet behind. And the breaking ball is a strike. Let's see, it's either two and one or three and one. Three runs across in the seventh inning. And now Rez feels comfortable with their pitching in a five to one lead. The offering. That's inside. It is three and one now. Close the book on Keaton Jillick. Jillick goes six plus, 101 pitches, four runs, all earned, 12 hits, four strikeouts, no walks. There's the first walk of the game, but it comes from the second pitcher, Sawyer Albert. Johnson reaches. Here's Caden Bailey. He's been on base all three times. A conventional single, a bun single, and hit by a pitch. And this is your number nine hitter. Single in the first inning, or the second, I should say, drove in the second run of the game. Yeah, Rez doesn't think they're done. The stretch. The pitch. Curveball bounces in. One ball and no strikes to Caden Bailey. Now, let's see if Albert just comes in with one here. Challenges the hitter. The pitch. That's a strike with a fastball on the inside corner. 
One ball and one strike. I mean, this is huge. The B Diggers can play an entire game. It's hard to do it in high school baseball, play an entire game without committing an error against a very, very good offensive team. One ball, one strike. I tell you, Sawyer, right now, uh, there's going to be a delay here. He is really being methodical on the mound, very deliberate. Usually works a little bit quicker than this. One ball, one strike. Stretch by Albert. Come on, Sawyer, let's throw it. Here we go. That's in the dirt. Throw back to first, and that's wide of the target. Sliding back in is Johnson. I think Sawyer's slowing down way too much. He's missing pitches because he's taking too much time. Got to deliver a little bit quicker. If not, you're just going to get yourself completely out of rhythm. 2-1-1 to Bailey. And the pitch. Yeah. Below the knees, 3-1. and one. Yeah, he'd be better off without anybody on base. I mean, he just struck, struck out a hit or two batters ago, but now can't find the plate. And that was against the eight hitter that he walked. And here's the nine hitter. And the three one. And that's down and in. Another walk. You just need one out to get out of this thing. But if I'm Sawyer Albert, I say the heck with the runners. Let's just work on the hitter. But now the hitter is even tougher. Well, actually, this will be a pinch hitter. Vincent Fuller will now hit. Right-handed hitter, more the reason to go after the hitter. First at plate appearance. Johnson at second, Bailey at first. Looking back, looks back twice. The offering, and that is a breaking ball down and in. One ball and no strikes. <clears throat> Three runs across for the Cougars, five to one in the seventh. Fuller awaits. 1-0. Down and in. Somebody's got to pay him a visit. Sawyer's thrown 22 pitches and eight of those have been strikes. That's it. I think if he walks this hitter, you find somebody else. I don't know who they go with after this, but the 2-0 pitch. There you go. And he's swinging a miss. Yeah, and he just went after, just do it. Forget about the base runners. Who cares? You get the hitter of those base runners, and I've said it so many times this season, they're insignificant. Two balls and one strike. Looking back. All right, don't look back. He looks back again. Whoa. And the offering. Swing and a miss. All right. Well, maybe now he's in rhythm. Two and two. Sawyer's got a live arm. One more here to finish off the top half of the seventh. Two and two. Wanted to call time. It's not granted. The offering down and away. Yeah, that missed. Mm. Three balls and two strikes. And even worse now, the runners will be taking off. A base hit's going to score at least a run. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Five, one. Resurrection Christian. The pitch foul to the backstop. That's a good pitch on the inside corner by Albert. Remains at three and two. Yeah, I think Sawyer wants to finish him off here. Well, of course he does. Especially since if he doesn't, it'll really use up a pitch count. Runners will be going. 3-2. Popped up. Down the left field line. Jillick with a long run, but it's out of play. Remains at three balls and two strikes. All of a sudden, this seventh inning is consuming a lot of time. Resurrection Christian 
Has sent eight to the plate, including this hitter. It'll be nine if Fuller reaches. 3-2. Swung on line foul down the left field line. Stays at three and two. Man, they say that 21st out or 27th in the major is tough to get. There's no doubt here. The beat diggers struggling to get that last out of this seventh inning. We started off at 79 degrees. We're down to 75, so it's still very pleasant out here. The only thing that's not pleasant is that we can't get this last out. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners will be going again. The pitch. That's down and in. Another walk. He's walked the bases loaded. Christian Seamer will now bat two for four in the game. If he gets on, this is going to look ugly with a final score if he happens to get on. And it's going to be very deceiving, but this is Albert's doing here. He's just trying to find a spot and cannot do it consistently. The offering, that's a good pitch. A fastball inside corner for a strike. Belt high, it's 0-1. And he's popping that glove. That's why I say he's got a live arm. But the live arm doesn't matter if he can't hit the strike zone. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch near the ankles. 0-2. Oh All right, now don't make it too hittable. But Wiley's got to block anything. No balls, two strikes. Resurrection Christian has stranded nine in the game. Johnson, Bailey, and Fuller on the bases. 0-2. Swung on and chopped slowly to third. Metlin backs up. He steps in the bag for the force. And that will end the top half of inning number seven. They score three runs. The Cougars have stranded 12 through seven. But they trail after, or they lead after six and a half, five to one on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Third pitcher of the game for Resurrection Christian. It'll be Merrick Fisbeck. Now on the mound against Keaton Jillick, who has struck out twice. I bet this guy's numbers probably are pretty good too. The pitch. Swung on, lined on one hop to the shortstop. Johnson, long throw to first, and a nice stretch there by Corrigan. One out. That's an excellent hit by Jillick, but again, good defense by Resurrection Christian. Fisbeck. This is his eighth appearance, no one loss record, and a 4.38 ERA. The pitch, fastball inside to Sawyer Albert, grounded to second and struck out. I believe the B diggers have struck out at least once in every inning. They've struck out 10 times in the game. The pitch, upstairs, maybe that's not true, let's see. I think there might have been one inning, they made contact. Yeah, in the sixth inning, they did not strike out. Every other inning, they struck out at least once. The pitch, low, 3-0. To Sawyer Albert. Post-game show is coming up. Right after the final pitch of the game. The offering. Strike. Down the middle of the fastball. Three and one. And Fisbeck pitches out of the stretch with the bases empty. And the offering. Swing and a miss. Oh, that would would have been ball four. That thing was below the knees. Three and two. The Bay Diggers have had only two base runners in the entire game. Three, two pitch. Fouled to the screen. If you like baseball, this is a good one today. Again, it's not going to be a Bay Digger victory. But it's a good baseball game. Well played, only one error combined. And the 3-2. Swung on line, into left field for a base hit. Sawyer Albert picks up the hit, 
and it's misplayed out in left field, but Albert fell, crossing the first base bag, and Bailey recovers. Third hit for Brush. Here is Percy Odo, struck out and grounded out. 0 for 2. And Dylan Crobb. Will be the courtesy runner at first for the B Diggers. Odell calls time. Need one more after Metlin, uh, to, well, after Odell, Metlin to get on. Swung on and lifted into left center field. That's got some nice carry to it. Way back, and it's gone! A two run homer for Percy Odell. And the bead diggers are to within two. It's five to three in the bottom of the seventh inning. Odo got all of that baseball over the left center field fence. And here is Ben Metlin. Singleton popped out. The tying run is on deck if Metlin can get on. Nice swing there by Percy Odell. And those three runs now really hurt the B-Diggers in the seven. Swung on and chopped foul, third base side. No balls and one strike. Just like Resurrection Christian had their best offensive inning in the seven, so are the B-Diggers. But the B-Diggers need just a little bit more. The offering. Breaking ball is a little bit low. One ball and one strike to Ben Metlin. A one-out single by Sawyer Albert, who homered in the last game. And then Odell in this game. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Threw a blazing fastball right by the B-Digger third baseman. One and two. Metlin awaits. The offering. Swung on and lifted a left center field. And that one might find a gap to his right, reaching out. And the ball is going to be up against the bottom of the fence. And Metlin into second as McAlman couldn't chase it down. And the bead diggers have the tying run at the plate on that long fly ball hit by Metlin. I wonder if we're going to have a pitching change. Wow, all of a sudden they're, they are hitting Fizbeck hard. A single, a home run, and a double. McAlman nearly got there, reached out, but could not make the play. And if Ortiz gets a hold of one, it's a brand new game. With Caleb Jimenez, who's got home run power on deck. So here is Edgar, struck out twice, got to lay off the high stuff. The stretch, the pitch, fastball, that's right there for strike one. We'll see if that visit calms down this particular pitcher or the B-Diggers can jump on him more. The pitch swung on, that ball is lifted down the left field line. And that is twisting foul. Man, he got a good piece of that baseball, but pulled it a little bit. Brush is swinging here in the bottom of the seventh. No balls and two strikes. That was a good swing there by Edgar. They can feel that something's happening here. 0-2 to Ortiz. One out of man at second, two across, 5-3. Resurrection Christian, bottom seven. The pitch, fouled. That pitch was up in the zone. He went fishing, but got a piece of it. No balls and two strikes. To Edgar Ortiz. The stretch by Fizbeck. The pitch, 
popped up. And that one, I don't know where that's going, but watch out. Wow, out of play. Went in between two cars, one of which is mine. It remains at 0-2. Oh, Edgar was oh so close. Just getting underneath that baseball. I don't know why Fizbeck hasn't thrown him a ball. You get the hitter chasing. 0-2 to Edgar Ortiz. The stretch. The offering. Swing and a miss. A fastball down the middle. I don't think Edgar was anticipating that one. Took a late swing. Two down. But here is Caleb Jimenez. Who lined a third and grounded out. He's got two home runs on the season. Stretch by Fizbeck. The pitch. Fastball. Strike one. No balls and one strike. If Caleb can just generate that one swing to tie the game. The offering. Curveball is grounded foul. Third base side. Oh, that was a good swing, but... Out in front of that breaking ball. No balls, two strikes, two outs. A man at second. Five, three, Resurrection Christian in the bottom of the seventh. Fizbeck looks back to the plate. Popped up. It should end the game. The catcher goes out, so does the pitcher. And it's caught by Fizbeck along the third baseline. And Resurrection Christian wins the game by a score of five to three. The Bee Digger Post Game Show is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plan of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy, 970-571-2024. Five runs on 13 hits, one air, 12 left on base for Rez. Three runs, five hits, no airs, two left on base for Brush. The winning pitcher was Vaughn Green. The save to Merrick, well, actually did not get the save. He had a four-run lead going in. No save. The loss to Keaton Jillick. Time of the game, one hour and 53 minutes. Vaughn Green had an RBI single at the top of the first. Same story for Caden Bailey, also with two down in the top of the second. The B-Diggers got on the board in the bottom of the sixth inning. Wiley Eicher singled, reached third on the air by the center fielder on the play. And then Hunter Proctor bunted down the third baseline. Eicher broke for the plate as soon as the throw was made for first. Or two first, and he scored, making it two to one. But then Resurrection Christian got a run scoring double from Vaughn Green to make it three to one. A triple from Colton Barber, four to one. And then he would score on a pass ball. Percy Odo with a two run homer in the bottom of the seventh inning, but it was not enough for Brush. Resurrection Christian with a victory, five and one in league play, 13. And two overall. And the Beat Diggers now four and four in league play, seven and six on the season. They've lost two straight and are back in action coming up tomorrow. How about Friday, John? Friday, they'll be in Greeley taking on the University Bulldogs. But the Brush Beat Diggers really played a solid baseball game today, a solid game. And they've got something to build on going into that four o'clock matchup in Greeley. Kevin Fergus will be with you, weather permitting, because the weather looks kind of shaky on Friday. Well, have a great night, and God bless. The Rockies are coming up here momentarily against the Padres, third of a four-game set. The final score, Resurrection Christian 5, Brush 3. I'm John Beltran for Brush B. Digger Baseball from Sunset Field and Brush on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.